morning we have acquired the goods we have coffee let's get this day started good morning you guys from quebec city if you guys didn't watch my travel vlog that should be up before this but i got in really late last night at like 11 and we're here it's nine o'clock i had a meh I was gonna say good sleep. I did not have a good sleep. I tossed and turned till like three in the morning. I don't like sleeping in hotel rooms alone. So I just, yeah, I tossed and tossed and turned. And then I think at three, I finally fell asleep until like seven or eight. So, I mean, I got like five hours. Could be worse, could be better. But we're awake now. There's actually a Starbucks in the hotel. This is my first five-star hotel experience. And it is like bougie. I mean, this hotel is giving Haunted Mansion vibes for sure. I have no idea what I'm going to call this yet, if it's just going to be like a normal weekly vlog or like a work week vlog because I am in Quebec City for a work conference for my corporate job. So I don't really know what I'm going to call this yet, but that's why we're here. So it's kind of weird, like I don't really know. I've never worked a conference before and I'm the one that's like hosting and doing everything. So today's kind of a tricky day. I flew in late last night so that I could have today to explore because our conference doesn't start until this evening around like... 6 p.m so i'm technically today working from like 12 to 8 because i'm gonna like obviously i still have to work there's like other components of my job besides a conference so but i just got a regular brewed coffee because i want to get an americano at like a local coffee shop and try it but yeah so i just checked my emails on my phone i don't really have anything i have my automatic reply on saying that like i'm away at a conference so it might take me a while to get back or it might just take me a bit to get back to you so i'm going to make sure that my video is ready to go live today and then honestly i might finish editing my travel vlog i pretty much did it all on the plane because i was just like bored um so i might put the finishing touches on that and export that and then that's like sunday's video done and out of the or tuesday's video so we're pretty ahead right now so that's good i also want to order some room service breakfast because obviously anything that i buy on this trip food wise like my coffee today i can claim that on an expense form through work because i'm here for work french toast that just sounds so good okay you guys i've literally never had room service before like they brought in a whole table and everything like i'm a disney world galley you know but okay so i got some fresh fruit yum and then i got the brioche french toast which looks amazing oh my goodness I'm gonna put some syrup out there for me. I'm gonna sit here and finish editing this video because honestly, editing brings me a lot of like comfort and it grounds me, especially when I'm just like feeling anxious and I'm feeling pretty good, but I figured I'd sit and edit for a bit. All right, it's warmed up. It's like minus 10 out, which is pretty warm. Honestly, it's like what it is back home. So I'm gonna head out on a little adventure, go walk around the Cartier Petit Champlain and that's where a bunch of like cute little stores are and stuff so i believe one of you guys also i have like a notes app with like all the places to go check out and a lot of you guys said that there was a few cute antique stores and bookstores so i might just honestly walk around there there's a bunch of cute shops let's go explore i have my gopro just because i think it'll be pretty cold for my camera but let's go explore quebec city a little body shower last night when i got in like pretty late after i stopped the vlog because obviously you know just be clean you know after traveling getting into fresh sheets um but i'm gonna take like a full shower now just because i have time honestly it's like the nicest shower i've ever seen in my life look how like aesthetically pleasing these 
shampoo conditioner and shower gel are like i'm obsessed okay guys shower is done when i asked you guys on instagram for tips for traveling for work most of you guys said make sure to take time for yourself to like do self-care somewhat stay in your routine and then also just like have boundaries like if you're not up for something you don't have to go and so yeah today's been like a really nice slow day yeah i've just been doing some work emails i had a lovely lovely shower i just edited a reel and posted that and now we're chilling i honestly want to take a nap but i'm not going to i don't think my sandwich was delicious my kombucha was delicious and yeah we're just relaxing honestly i'm kind of going back and forth between like answering emails and stuff but that's my update we're doing a little self-care there's people sledding outside that looks so fun it's two today's definitely gonna be the day that i'm able to vlog the most because i'm obviously just chilling until this evening whereas like tomorrow i have a full day of conference and then saturday a half day i just went and walked around the hotel i was like getting a little not like stir crazy but i took a shower and I sat down and do some work and I was just like, I just kind of like walk and walk around for a sec. So I did. I was going to go work in their business center just for like a little change of scenery, but it wasn't really big. It was like two chairs. So I came back up here. I just ordered some lunch. Um, I ordered Uber Eats. I ordered Freshy. I'm so excited because I love their kale Caesar salad. And you guys know we don't eat a ton of takeout at home. So it's like nice on trips and stuff when you like get to order takeout, like some of your favorite things. So I got that and like the easiest thing to do just because I don't feel like putting my jacket on, like going and walking around to find something. I'm going to start on some grad school work, which I've said this before, but I had the best job ever. They're so flexible. I basically had originally said that I couldn't come to Quebec City just because, I mean, I just juggle so much, right? And I typically don't work Fridays and obviously Saturdays. So like it's eating into a lot of my weekend. I was originally just not going to come because technically I don't have to come. Like I planned the conference, but I don't need to be here. He was like, you know what? If you want to come, come. There's going to be a lot of opportunity for you to like work on school and also just like catch up on work. So he's super, super sweet and nice. And he like knows obviously how much I have on my plate. And so I'm going to sit down for a little bit and get some uh, grad school stuff done and just like some discussion boards i don't have any assignments coming up soon which is nice but i figured if i'm like sitting here i may as well get caught up on like discussion boards i also need to go to the front desk and ask for some scissors to cut up some name badges or badges but i feel like i should be out exploring more because today's like my only full day but it's also very slippery out there <laughs> yeah they do not salt the sidewalks here in quebec city their shampoo and conditioner smells so good i want to bring it home so love that had like a luxurious shower moment honestly my my walk this morning took up like most of my morning i walked like f well it doesn't sound like much but i walked like four kilometers like throughout quebec city which took me two and a half hours because i was like stopping and going in stores and stuff so it like definitely took up a good part of my morning which was nice keep on keeping on with some work but yeah <laughs> i feel like today's portion of the vlog is gonna be 15 minutes and the rest is gonna be two minutes but i'll vlog a little bit of our weekend too when we're back at home but so far i'm having a blast it's actually really relaxing honestly like i'm really vibing out right now it's good for the soul to be honest freshy for lunch i love their kale caesar so much and honestly one thing i'm working on when i'm on trips is i just get like so excited which is fine but i need to remember that i still need to nourish my body and that these kinds of foods will make me feel better especially with ibs so i got like a little immune shot which i know that these probably don't do anything but they i don't know placebo and then the hotel gives out flow water so i just went and picked another one up in the business center it is my update it's 2 10 i'm gonna try and get some work done until about three 4 30 i just decided to get ready i had a little like walk through with the like sales manager here that does all the events just so i could walk through because we're in a few different rooms and we're setting up for the like little reception tonight so yeah we just did that walked around the hotel a little bit i closed my loops which is great and then i just got ready um i didn't bring hairspray but i have a little friend on my face right now but i will say that i will take these like tiny little zits over my hormonal acne any day not gonna let that bring us down but i think i'm just gonna honestly relax for the next little bit i feel like i need some more water so i might walk to the business center again and grab some more water because i'm out and yeah i should have taken a nap i'm so 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 tired come event is over at eight tonight so i'm sure people will go out after for like drinks and stuff but i will be coming back here to go to bed because i'm gonna get the crack it on but yeah, that's my update i'll show you guys my outfit super quick well i don't have shoes on yet but i'm just wearing this sweater which is from h&m and then this i picked up the skirt today at simon's because it's like a cute little has like a little slit here i might put some tights on i don't know but 
I actually don't own a midi skirt and I feel like it's just like an essential to have for work or just like life so this is a little fit of the night super cute casual comfy Got my apple watch I'm gonna sit and chill I'm literally hitting the biggest wall right now Alrighty, guys I got back to my room around 9 I FaceTime Matt I'm going to get into bed and read i'm like 50 percent of the way through this finally i feel like i've had this i have it on my bookshelf at home but it's also kind of limited i've had it for months and months and it's like one of those books i knew would wreck me but i'm 50 percent of the way through and i'm hooked and reading before bed is just a lot better for me than you know watching youtube i'm the only one obsessed with tracking my sleep but am i the only one who sets their alarm in the sleep app instead like i'm so obsessed with it so i'm hoping to be in bed let's say by 11 to get up at six so like i'm so obsessed with playing with this and like seeing if i hit my sleep goal i don't know why it's so fun to me so very early wake up so we'll see you guys tomorrow good morning guys I'm like half asleep, but I, I'm really happy because I went to bed so early last night. I got seven and a half hours of sleep, so I'm feeling really good. Um, I still have my morning voice though, but good morning. I think it's currently 6.30 on the dot, so I have to head down. Oh, I wanted to see if the Starbucks was open. I just sit at a desk for eight hours, and I get to catch up on all the emails and stuff that like in the last few weeks I haven't been able to get to. So I always leave a conference feeling like super ahead and never stressed, so that's good. But I didn't have time to touch up my hair or anything, so... We're just chilling. My shirt is Old Navy and these are pixie pants from Old Navy as well. And yeah, I probably won't honestly talk to you guys until I'm done at like four something. So I'm like literally half asleep. I need coffee so bad. But good morning. Happy Friday. Let's do this. Hi guys we made it back it's 4 30. honestly was like oh i'm gonna go walk and like find food but the temperature outside right now minus 38 degrees celsius out like i'm sorry but absolutely not so i just ordered a smoothie because i feel like i need some like not substance in my life but like for breakfast we had like fruits and croissants and coffee and then for lunch it was just oh well, i included some clips it was like a salads and sandwiches which was so good it kept me full but i feel like i just need like some good like a ginger green epic smoothie you know so and i don't remember what was for dinner tonight i want to say that it's like beef or something which is totally fine but i just think i need some greens in me so i just ordered that but i'm gonna sit and chill for a bit i mean i have been sitting all day i got so much work done i got like two weeks ahead with grad school discussion boards which is nice and like obviously grad school is like well, i'm only taking one course at a time so it's not like a crazy workload but it was so nice and then uh, i caught up all my work emails i have three conferences in between april and may so i just did a ton of work for that i did some youtube work i started editing this video like i got a lot done today so i feel really good then we have dinner tonight and then tomorrow is a half day and then my flight leaves at four and i'll take you guys like home for that so i'm having a lot of fun honestly so i've made some friends and i think i'm gonna take a shower just because it's saying that it's gonna take 45 minutes for my smoothie to come which is kind of crazy but i figured i'm just gonna take a shower and like freshen up why not and then we will have a smoothie and relax for a bit before we go to dinner <laughs> is going to save me i'm so excited i'll put the order on the screen for you guys in case you're curious what i ordered but i'm plopping myself down lighting isn't great here but same skirt different sweater i don't know i brought like a shorter skirt with a blazer but it's freezing out so i'm just gonna do this with my little tennis shoes and head out <sighs> i'm so tired but i can do this i can rally Perfect. Dinner 
was really great. I got to like network a ton. I've had a lot of fun at this conference, honestly, which is, if you guys saw the last vlog, I was like crying because I was so overwhelmed to come and I had so much fun. So I'm really grateful and I just feel very loved, honestly, and I feel very like appreciated, which is something I think I lacked in like some of my previous roles. I feel very, very appreciated, which is always so great. So having so fun, getting to know people, really having a good time. I sound like kind of under the weather but i think it's just because it's so cold out like i when i i like have this urge to cough because my lungs are so cold so yeah it's 11 48 it's pretty late not had a little guy's night at home it was so cute with his brother as i saw that on the like little camera but yeah we went to a little bar after <clears throat> i just got some sparkling water i just wasn't like really in the mood to drink and I feel like I'm in a season of life. I, I think sometimes it's easy to like give in to drinking, like not peer pressure, but like if everyone around you's drinking, you're trying to like impress them and they're drinking, you're gonna drink. And you guys know, like I love a good glass of wine, I love a good cocktail. I have a healthy relationship with alcohol, I find. Like I don't drink, like, like I maybe have like, I don't know, two to three drinks a week, <clears throat> if that. I had a glass of wine with dinner and then I honestly just didn't feel like it at the bar. So I had a sparkling water with lemon and it sounds silly, but I don't know I was just kind of like proud of myself for not feeling like I had to drink because everyone else was and this isn't me like I'm I have like I said I, I still drink alcohol I'm not not gonna drink alcohol I just think that sometimes I like give myself a pat on the back for like okay you know it would have been easy to be like yeah yeah drink but I just didn't really feel like it so I don't know I'm proud of myself I'm also proud that I went I feel like I talked about in this vlog how I wanted to set a boundary like if I was really tired I would have obviously it came to my hotel room but i wasn't really tired and a, a bunch of the people i like became friends with were going to this bar and all the doctors and stuff were there and so i went for a little bit i went for like an hour and i'm really proud of myself for going which like sounds so silly but it pushed me out of my comfort zone a little bit which is like a big theme for this year for me and so yeah i don't know i'm really happy and i want to get a good sleep at least like at least six seven hours um i'm trying to figure out what my plan is for tomorrow so we have conference from 8 to 12. Obviously, I have to check out at 12, and then my flight's not till 4, but there is an earlier flight that actually gets me home sooner because I have, like, a three-hour layover in Toronto tomorrow, which is kind of silly. We're backtracking to Toronto, but anyways, there is an earlier flight, and there's seats available, so I'm going to go to the airport early tomorrow and see if I can get on that flight. Um, when I called today, they would not upgrade me unless I wanted to pay $800, so I'm going to go and see tomorrow if there's any seats left at the airport. They usually look a little nicer with that stuff than on the phone so that is my update and i guess i'll talk to you guys in the morning tomorrow and yeah we'll go from there i have a feeling i might oh it's the fan that's my cue to go the fan's coming on i'll talk to you guys in the morning <laughs> Saturday the lighting is super weird it's so bright and sunny outside but it is currently noon I'm supposed to check out right now um, but the conference is officially over I made it through it it went so so well I'm so happy and yeah my flight got delayed a few hours though so it's sad because I have the whole afternoon to explore now but it's just so cold outside so I'm trying to decide what I want to do if I want to go walk around a little bit or if I want to I, I mean I kind of have no choice or go to the airport now, but my flight was originally at 4.30, now it's at 6.30, so I won't get into Ottawa till about midnight. I made it through my first like national conference that I planned and everything, and I survived, so. I'm very excited to go home though, and not do anything tomorrow. I just feel like very socially drained, like my mental battery is like flashing. So, or my social battery, I should say. So I'm gonna look up and see what's around here, maybe try and explore a new like little part, but let's get bundled up for that. I'm gonna do one last check and make sure I have everything and then we're gonna start our trip back to Ottawa. Basically have everything packed, kind of. I'm just trying to figure out what to put in what because I want to explore. So I left my super puff out, but I'm just gonna bundle up, I guess. My window is like literally stuck. Oui, la commande. Uh, uh, 
de body burger, s'il vous plaît, avec du mozzarella. Avec le fromage mozzarella, ok. Oui, puis des rondelles d'oignon, s'il vous plaît. Une rondelle d'oignon. Oui. Parfait. Ensuite. Et un diet coke, s'il vous plaît. Un coke diet. Ça sera tout. Oui, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Plot twist, we're driving back to Ottawa. I'll catch you guys up in a sec. I just had to place my little order. I need some A&W in my life. I need some food in general in my life. Lighting is not great, but honestly, I don't care. Alrighty guys, I hope you can hear me because the car is very, very loud, I'm sorry. But long story short, I checked out of my hotel and my flight from Quebec City to Toronto got delayed two and a half hours but then they canceled my flight from toronto to ottawa so like they were only gonna be able to rebook me on a flight from toronto to ottawa tomorrow so i'd have been stuck in toronto overnight so i was like all right well let me see what else i can do and i was like you know what maybe just look into a rental car because it's a four hour drive which like yeah whatever i'd rather not but it would get me home sooner than like my first plane taking off right like i'm not supposed to leave quebec city now until 6 37 and I honestly don't even think it's gonna leave then. So if I leave now, which it's two o'clock, I'll be home around six. And because my flight was delayed, um, Air Canada is gonna reimburse me. I think it's $400 I get for my flight. And then obviously, because I'm traveling for work, I can just um, claim my car rental because my flight was canceled or part of it. So we're driving home to Ottawa. I've got this nice Hyundai venue and I'll be home in four hours and 24 minutes. Well, I'll be at the airport, drop this car off and then Matt will pick me up at the airport. So yeah, let the journey home begin. Hello friends, we have made it to Montreal. So we're about halfway. I just sprayed some hand sanitizer, which this is the best one, the baby bum one. It smells like sunscreen. Um, and yeah i just have to get an ice cap with an espresso shot in it which is like if i have to like do a long like road trip which i don't do often it's like my go-to because the sugar and the coffee keeps me awake and i know i shouldn't have coffee this late but honestly i'm so tired that i'll be able to sleep i'm not worried about it so yeah i just got a text saying your flight to toronto has been delayed further until seven o'clock due to a technical issue from an earlier flight that's crazy so I am so glad. I was. I'm, I'm honestly exhausted though, like mentally, like not like I'm not like falling asleep at the wheel, but like I'm just so tired. Like I had so much fun, but I'm just like so ready to be home. And like, of course, your flight delay happens like on your way home. And I'm really just grateful I can get a rental car though. So, yeah, got this. I need. To I also think I have to stop and buy a phone cord because I only have, which like I love Apple, but I hate it for this reason is I only have the new phone cord that doesn't have the USB in the car. Like I have my Bluetooth going, but my phone's at like 9% with the map and I need the map to get, like I do and I don't, but buy a phone cord. And yeah, I'm not sure how much vlogging I will do when I get home tonight. Cause I think I'm gonna be exhausted even though it's only 6.30 when I get home. So I didn't show you guys and I'll show you the rest of my souvenirs when we got home, but I got, um, I got this dragon in Quebec City at the gift shop in the hotel. I didn't need him, but he is so cute. He's a little blue dragon, and I named him Drogon. If you know, you know. I'm just in my Mother of Dragons era, but he's so cute. Look at him. He's a little dragon. So he's been my road trip buddy, and I love him so much. So I got a new stuffy dad to the collection. I'm a 25-year-old woman who buys stuffed animals as souvenirs, but it's fun. So I'm going to get back on the road now jam out i've just been listening to different disney soundtracks like i listen to happily ever after i'm listening to wishes i'm gonna listen to enchantment just because they're like 20 minute long fireworks shows so it's like the perfect length of time like three of them like basically wishes happily ever after and enchantment gets me through an hour i was doing podcasts but i i really am like a music gal on road trips because i need it to like keep me like awake like i need to sing i tried doing a podcast and i was like falling asleep i'm exhausted and i want to go home now <laughs> let's do this Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Stella Rooney. Look at the camera. They missed you. Did you miss the vlog? Do you see yourself? Good morning, happy Sunday. I feel so run down. Like, I just feel exhausted. Like, you know when you, like, you don't feel sick, but, like, your body, you can just feel run down. You know what I mean? That's kind of how I feel, honestly. <laughs> I slept, I mean, you guys saw the, on the vlogs, you guys saw, like, I slept like 10 hours like you guys just saw, and Matt just left to go to the gym, 
but I am just like so I feel like honestly kind of a little cranky like I just don't want to talk to anyone like I've just talked so much this weekend that like I just want to like be alone I didn't vlog at all last night when I got into Ottawa because I was honestly so like tired I'm really glad though that I made the choice to drive home because I kept getting the updates for the flight and I didn't end up leaving Quebec City until about 9 45 and I don't know I need to like email some of my coworkers and see how they got home because the last flight from Toronto to Ottawa was at 10 and like the Quebec City flight to Toronto was like 9 40 to 11 so I'm not sure if they put people up overnight in Toronto but I'm so glad I made the choice to drive home because I just like yeah I did not want to be stuck there any longer I was just so tired but after I vlogged when I was in Montreal I hit some traffic obviously but after that it was like smooth sailing home around 6 30 and I got home before the flight even took off so I'm really just so grateful that I decided to do that and yeah but we're home now last night we just I didn't did I eat oh I had like a bowl of cereal oh my camera's dying of course I'll get a new battery we watched game like one episode of Game of Thrones and then we went to bed and I slept like 10 hours and here we are so happy Sunday I'm just gonna vlog for a little bit today like unpacking and stuff and then take the rest of the day to chill but let's go get a new battery my only plan for today is to honestly unpack and then relax and we also have a lot of laundry to put away so I honestly kind of just want to like tackle this now and get it over with so I can chill the rest of the day one of the farm reps gave me this really cute little toiletry bag with some goodies in it I also do have some souvenirs to show you guys after but those are downstairs but it's actually a really nice toiletry bag like I'm definitely gonna keep it and it has a bunch of like skincare and like stuff in it so we have a chapstick with SPF we have a Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap. Oh, this stuff is so good. The Utterly Smooth Hand Cream. A ton of La Roche-Posay products. So we have the, I never know how to say this, the Cicaplast Balm B5. Um, what is this? Lipicar Balm. And this is also Lipicar wash and then a La Roche Posay sunscreen. I'm really excited to try the sunscreen actually. So that was so sweet. It was like I think a little skincare set obviously for patients going through like chemo and stuff because I was at an oncology conference. So I'm assuming that's what this was, but they had a bunch of extras. So yeah. And then I also got souvenirs, but those are downstairs. But I'm gonna unpack and the way that I do it is I just sort like dirty and clean. I mean I didn't wear a lot of this stuff so yeah and then i i should honestly just tidy up my office because tomorrow i'm not working obviously it's monday i'm like taking the day off i'm not even gonna look at my work emails and i'm going to um probably have like a pretty relaxing morning and then just like kind of get it together like submit all my receipts to work i like to do that right away i have a bunch of packages to open like pr and then also just stuff that like I bought not a bunch of packages but like a few so I think I'll do all that tomorrow like I just don't even have the energy to open packages today honestly so I think tomorrow I'll film like a little spend the day with me and yeah but let's do this let's unpack <laughs> I just need to put away all those clothes and I'm procrastinating it because I don't want to do it um, but I just made myself a little to-do list for tomorrow I'm not gonna have like a crazy productive day but I do just want to like tidy up like there's only so much I want to do today I just uploaded my video for today and I'm so excited because I didn't realize that Old Navy had tall PJs and I said in a Instagram story a few days back that I I'm really sad because I love wearing like in the winter long sleeve shirt and pant PJs but I can't because I'm so tall like the pants just never fit and then I end up getting extra large and they're like giant and I ordered a pair of old navy ones which by the way tell me these are not the cutest print in the freaking world they have little strawberries on them they're like so springy and fun 
but I got the medium tall and they actually fit me and they're really soft. I feel like sometimes they're not like the softest material. So um, I just unbox that. I'm going to unbox the rest of my packages tomorrow, but I had to unbox this today because I'm going to wear them tonight, but they're so cute. Um, but I'm literally just like sitting here and I just like don't have the mental capacity to do anything. Like, I feel so out of it. I need to like go get a water bottle and like chug it. Um, but I'm trying to just do like little things. Like right now I'm just going to like put away all my electronics while I talk to you guys. But holy moly, I just feel so spacey today. I'm like really obsessed with this pencil case. It's from Zara Kid. Zara Kid. They have like a really cute Disney line right now. It's so cute. Um, here, let me show you guys the souvenirs I got really quick before I put them away. I didn't get much. You guys know we're not like huge souvenir people. But I did get some postcards because I love postcards. I got this one, which this one is just like the Fairmont Hotels. And then this one is the Frontenac. And then I got a pin because we do, we obviously have our Disney pin board, but we have a pin board with just like places we've been. Um, so whenever we can find pins, I like to get them. And they're pretty inexpensive. This was only $4.99, so I got this pretty pin. And those are the souvenirs that I got. I also need to wipe down my suitcases because you guys probably saw they were really salty. I'm going to honestly probably put some YouTube on my iPad and then just put my clothes away while listening to that because I just have no motivation to do anything right now. Like anything. Like is this normal after a work trip? I guess it is. Like that's how I feel after a trip in general. Um, but let's, let's just tackle this because the sooner I get it done, the sooner I can relax. Relax. <laughs> 